This War Memorial in particular is incredibly special to me because um, I have two names on my mother's side of the family. Uh, out of the three sons, two were killed in the first war. Uh, and myself, I served as a Welsh Guardsman. And on the other side of my family is a Leg Burke, uh, Nigel Leg Burke, my great grandfather, was also killed uh, just after my grandfather was born. And so when I see these sites of War Memorials, wherever they are, in the country, there's always just stop and, and just take it in, take that serious moment just to, to remember. There are quite a few Krakow people there that I know, or knew of, and the relations are still here in Krakow now. Krakow is only a small town of 2,000 people, and so many people to lose their lives uh, in the First World War is quite astonishing, really. Uh, it's quite sentimental standing here looking at all these names. With these small communities, it must have had a devastating effect. Imagine losing that amount of people, 67 people, in such a small community over such a small period of time. It's terrifying, terrifying. People that, that, that do this Krakow walk will realize how important the people who gave their lives in the First World War are for Krakow. I think it's very important for the town to have this World War I walk established. This is one of the uh, locations of the walk, and um, one of the original um, licensees, William Jones, best, best known as Billy the Corn, um, was actually injured in, in World War I and died of his wounds much later. Um, and that was tragic because he actually survived many years, um, in, in, probably in agony. There's a wonderful picture of my great-grandfather at the outbreak of war standing right here talking to the throngs, the masses of Crick Howe, trying to get them to join the Breckenshire Militia, which he then went on to command. And this whole place was absolutely packed, completely in this photograph of this recruiting drive with recruiting sergeants ready to sign up people um, here, right next door to what was then the old courthouse as well. Everybody knew somebody who was killed or wounded. Huge amounts of, of wounded um, came back from the war, let alone those that were killed. So without that, that funding and this memorial walk and the apps and the information and the boards, we forget because it's all too easy to just get on with your life. Um, and uh, keeping that bit of tradition alive is always very good, particularly here in Crick Island, the district, where there have been huge amounts of military for years. We're just up the road from the infantry school, battle school, uh, called the Gotham Army Camp. So it is, has a huge military background, Crick Island, the districts as well, let alone the training areas of the Black Mountains, which we're in, and the Brecon Beacons. There are many bits of, of the memorial walk that actually are, are so vitally important but aren't necessarily in the centre of Crick Howe. So do take a walk out to Langattock. So as a local, um, I think you will find out things that you hadn't known before. Langattock holds a lot of history and you can walk through the village and see that history as you're walking through. With all the barcodes and finding out the information, there are little anecdotes on there which you might not know. You may even have some connection to those anecdotes. I don't know, every time I see these war memorials it brings up a choking feeling in my throat. It never ceases to sadden me and you see it everywhere in these churches. It's just sad.